This is a walkthrough video of 4692 um, Robin Hood. So we're in Sherwood Forest, aptly named, which is a very nice um, subdivision just north of Bahia Vista between McIntosh and Honoré. <clears throat> this home is bank owned. It's a really a cute house, big house. Uh, over 2,000 square feet under air. I kind of like these uh, rocks here. That's actually really nice landscaping. It kind of sits up on a hill. Um, but it's almost 3,000 square feet total. <clears throat> I like the steps here that go to the driveway and to the garage. It is a wood home and there is a fair amount of, uh, of uh, rot down low. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of panels at the bottom that are going to have to be replaced on the exterior. But um, big house, cool house. A little concerned that that fills with water when it rains real hard, but I don't know. I like the uh, I like the Bahama shutters. Gives a nice look. You got double doors as you come in. There's more of that rot down low. Um, a cool mosaic right there as I walk in. Tile, giant open air room. It is a sunken, sunken living area here. That's a wood-burning fireplace. I'm gonna start over here. This would be the, the dining room. All the rooms are enormous. This is a big dining room. And then the kitchen is enormous as well. Actually, nice speckled granite. Um, white cabinets and white appliances are a bit dated. And these are just okay cabinets. Um, but it's totally serviceable as is. Uh, you know, you could totally live with this for a while. Over here is the master bedroom, which is huge. This has got to be 25 by 15, and it's the same tile throughout. Uh, we have a different tile in the bathroom here. Bathroom is cultured marble top, uh, single, big shower. Could uh, be updated on the tile, but that's a big bathroom. And then lots of built-ins here in the um, master closet. Walking outside, one concern I had about this is road noise, because that wall separates this and Bahia Vista, which is kind of a, a fast, busy street. Um, the deck's actually in pretty decent condition, but here you can see more of that uh, rot along the bottom. And you hear what I mean about the road noise. It is a little bit, a little bit bad. Uh, lots of foliage. It's kind of like a jungle back here. The roof, I don't know. I'd have to look in the age of it. I mean, it looks pretty good, but you know, like everything needs a roof. Um, got a cool big deck out here. House listed for 249 I believe, and uh, that translates to $116 per square foot, which is a great value. I got, for this area, $116 per square foot is, is a good price. So I'm walking across, you know, little bits of tile missing right there on this threshold. So this is guest bedroom number one. Um, kind of crazy colors. Probably original windows. This is 1981 construction, so um, everything's very 1981-ish. Like the cultured marble top, the jetted tub, you know, this giant bathroom, all this space here. I don't know what all that space is for. You could actually put a second toilet in if you wanted to have a his and hers. <laughs> guest bedroom number two. Um, you know, bifold doors, nothing fancy in here. Uh, interesting how that drops down right there for this little linen closet, um, part of that sunken area. This is a bedroom because it has a closet, but it's a, uh, got a lot of built-ins here for an office. So you know, there's really four bedrooms and a bath over here, then the master suite over there. Um, but all in all, this is a this is a cool house. Um, I guess my my concern on it is the road noise uh, from Bahia Vista. But I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International nine four one three six six zero 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 zero. Thanks for watching.